Hello world, Lock Picking Dove here. Today I have myself an Avis Challenge Lock. This is Barolo, which is named after a wine by Dr. Nebbiolo, which uh, Nebbiolo is the type of grape used in Barolo wine. This has a really cool grape engraving on the front of this too. So let's see if we can get this open and I'll show you how pretty this thing is. And uh, I've tried this uh, one real time already and it is... Uh, it is a fun little lock. Or in the back. Four. Three. There we go. And six, five, four. I think there's more in three there. There we go. Three. Four. Ooh, that is a big turn there. I'm not sure if that's a false set or not. Sure was. He's gentle with this. Five. Two. Go. Oh, wow. Crazy good rotation there. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. But let's feel here. We got some binding on one. Six. Ooh, let's be careful here. There we go. Six. There's another big turn there. It's like three. Two. Feels all right, actually. Two to set. We don't lose our tension here. Yeah, it looks like pin six. Let's make sure. Too sure. I think it's been five. Been four. There's a little bit of binding to it, but I'm not getting anything out of it that could be set. Three. 
No. Two. No. Is one not fully set? That might be it, actually. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. There's our open. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited about this. I haven't done a challenge lock in a while. There we go. There's a nice little grape on the front of it. Really cool. Let's get this guy to move our vice out of the way. And our key goes behind there. There's our bidding. Pretty good bidding. Okay. Hang tray. Move all this over. Power out. And get cool Phillips head. And I know they said that the, there it goes, <laughs> the sixth pin area didn't have a, um, a cap on it for whatever reason, so I'll put one on it. And as you saw, uh, our spring went flying somewhere, but that's okay. We'll just, uh, we will get, I'll just replace that when I get to, oh, wow, look at that. That's nice looking. So let's go ahead and get this off. Z-bar here. There we go. There we go. Take that off. I believe it's this size. So, if there's anything else I'm going to worry about, I need to make sure that in the back here, the, I need to make sure in the back here that the driver pins don't fall down in there, so I'm going to rotate it that way just a little bit. Oh yeah, and our detent pin right there that we're going to have to push to get this to come out. So let's do this gently. Here we go. shit. I think one fell into something. So here's our first pins here. I don't know what it fell into. Okay, I'm back and I figured out what happened. So I pulled out another one of these and right here there's this little hole you can see right there and that is about the same spot See that hole on the plug where this one's stuck where one of the driver pins fell into that hole so that's what happened um i tried shimming it a lot a lot with a whole bunch of different shims i even took a massager to use the vibration to try to knock it up and down the pin in there to see if i can shove a shim in there while doing it all while trying to rotate the core and everything as well so i tried this <laughs> um, unfortunately it didn't work but so and what I ended up having to do is I measured the bottom here from the end to the first uh, the first hole and then from the end right there to the start of this so it ended up being five millimeters and that's where my first hole was my first driver pin hole up here so I just drilled it out so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pull this one out Pin one. There's the rest of the metal coming out there. Go. Oh. Okay, it's having a little trouble right there. The hole must be a little 
tight. So what we'll do is we'll just continue with our follower just to get it the rest of the way out. Oh shit. Tell me I just got another one in there. Oh no, okay. That's what happened. Let's say it's not completely on the side like that. So I should have been out of the way. So let me turn this even further really. Oh, it's the damn detent. That's what it is. That was a strong spring. That sounded kind of odd. So there we go. Now, so yeah, there's the hole I'm talking about. So one of my driver pins got stuck down in the hole right there. And then you can't forget this detent pin right here because, yeah, it'll get stuck in these bottom holes and whatnot and just get in the way. So let's get the rest of these out. So here is pin four, five, and six. Nice looking pins. Now let's do the rest of the driver pins. So here's the front. Oh yeah, pin one doesn't have a spring in anymore. So there we go. One. Pin two. Three, just rocket it out. Oh, here it is. Pin four, we got pin five already, and then there's pin five. Oh yeah, because pin six must have been this one. And here is pin five. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we didn't lose that pin earlier. So that makes sense because, yeah, I forgot about that. So there we go. There are all of our pins. I still will have to find that spring from the six chamber so I can repin this. But here we go. Look at those nice pins there. So this one. Holy cow. I had a um, snake, a rattlesnake pin. That's nice. Really nice. It's probably a little bent for me to turn the cord, but I'll get that fixed. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is cool. A nice deep spool. I felt that. God, yeah. That nice serrated pin. Very even. Mushroom pin. More spool variations. And look at our key pins as well. All different types of serrations and spools and a rattlesnake pin. That's cool. I didn't expect that. That's really cool. Awesome. So this was the Barolo by Dr. Nebbiolo. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.